up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on today's video, y'all be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notifications, and if you want to have me hop on the panel, you can reach out to me on my email address, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com, and follow me on my social media, man. We got the Twitter page up and running, so follow me on Twitter, at KOBoxing86 TV. That's at KOBoxing86 TV. But let's get it popping, bro. We got to talk about Javante Tank Davis and um, some stuff outside of the ring. I try to stay away from stuff like this, but I see people making video on this. I see people com uh, making content on this shit and commenting on it, and they totally missing the mark in my book. So you got to count on your boy Knockout to bring y'all the real, bring y'all the truth, and really get people to question their perspective and how y'all viewing the situation. And for y'all see the title, he facing up to seven years in prison, bro. Javante Tank Davis is facing up to seven years in prison um, if convicted of these charges of, of this hit and run incident that they're alleging that he's responsible for. So I want to talk to y'all about it and give y'all my perspective on it. But right before we get into it, let me mention this, man. Our live shows are lit, bro. And we do our live show every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, 5.30 on the West Coast, 8.30 on the East Coast. Y'all come hang out with me tomorrow night for a fun night of boxing talk, man. I guarantee you, you're going to enjoy yourself. We're very interactive with the chat. Um, we're going to be talking about the biggest fight this weekend, Wilder and Fury. So y'all come hang out with me, man, for a fun day, fun night of boxing talk tomorrow night. Also, man, we do another live show with the singing OG, KQKC Boxing Network. We'll be over on his platform, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, and we switch to mine. This week will actually be on my platform, so excuse that. Um, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, but y'all go subscribe to KQKC Boxing Network. Um over on his platform so you can know when he going live you can catch his videos or whatever man he's doing great work over there and we want to help each other out as we both continue to grow our channels now this whole situation with javante tank davis man facing up to seven years in prison it's ridiculous it's ludicrous and it's just a horrible injustice in our system bro and in our justice system um with how things are punished and how things are viewed and you might be like well knockout bro he he, hit, he allegedly hit somebody. If he hit somebody and he just ran away from the scene, you know, that means that, you know, he was a coward. He could have killed somebody. He could have did this. He could have did that. So he should face the consequences. All right, cool. If you think that, all right, cool. Let me try to change your mind, bro. Let me try to change your mind. I maintain, and I'm going to prove to y'all in this video, why that man, Javante Tank Davis, that young man, he should have to pay medical fee fees for the people that he injured, right? He should have to go to community service or some shit. Maybe have his license suspended if he's guilty. You know, uh, probation. All of that shit. Cool, bro. Cool. I, I ain't tripping on that. Yes. That's the that's the right level of punishment to me when you consider the facts that I'm about to bring to y'all and um, that hopefully you'll do some research if you think I'm lying. If you don't trust me in my word, I encourage you not to trust me in my word. Go look this stuff up because it's all public knowledge, bro. It's all public knowledge. I can't in good conscience say that Javante Davis should even serve a day in jail Considering these facts, bro. Considering these facts. There's a young lady by the name of Venus Williams. A lot of y'all know who she is. For those of y'all who don't, she's Serena Williams' sister. Serena Williams is the best tennis player probably ever, bro. And Venus Williams is an all-time great tennis player. She got her own major tennis titles that she won. But Venus Williams killed somebody in her car before, bro. No disrespect to her, no shade. Not trying to bring up no bad memories, but she did, fam. She killed somebody. She ran into an intersection, and she killed a man, bro. She ran into an intersection, killed a man with a car. Didn't serve a, j a day in jail, bro. Didn't serve a single day in jail. But y'all want, but 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 we got Javante Tank Davis. What well, he he's supposed to serve seven years for injuring people when people you know are killing people, have killed people before, and, and she ain't it. If it was just one case, then I wouldn't even be making this video. But there's also Bruce Jenner. Or Caitlyn Jenner, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect to 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 Jenner, no no disrespect, but Caitlyn Jenner, Bruce Jenner, you know, rear-ended someone before, rear-ended someone, which caused them to push their car in the intersection, and they got hit by a Hummer as a result, bro. And that accident, it killed one person and injured seven people. Didn't do a day in jail. Did Bruce Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner, didn't do a day in jail, bro. Didn't serve a single solitary day. On the inside of prison. But again, but again, Javante Tank Davis is supposed to go to jail for seven years 
for injuring people, bro. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. We can keep going. Laura Bush, former first lady. Laura Bush. George Bush wife, bro. Laura Bush, former first lady. One of the people that when, when you got the first lady of the United States, they tell you, look up to them, bro. Look up to them. That's what women should be like. You know, they're supposed to set examples. Well, when Laura Bush was in high school, Laura Bush ran a stop sign and killed somebody, bro. Ran a stop sign. Was clearly at fault. Killed someone, bro. Guess what? She ain't serve a day. She ain't serve a day in prison either, bro. So again, Javante Davis shouldn't go to jail at all, bro. If you can kill somebody, if you can be at fault and kill somebody and you don't serve a jail time, how the hell can somebody that causes an accident does a hit and run and don't kill nobody, how the hell are they supposed to go to jail for seven years, bro? The shit don't make sense. Matthew Broderick. A lot of y'all might not know who Matthew Broderick is, bro, but I do. But I do. He's in one of my favorite movies growing up. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, the star of that movie. That's who Matthew Broderick is. He's also the co-star to Jim Carrey in the movie Cable Guy. For those of y'all that's around my age, maybe a little bit older, maybe a little bit younger, y'all remember the Cable Guy, Jim Carrey. With a dude that he was terrorizing that he wanted to be best friends with, that was Matthew Broderick. Matthew Broderick was driving his car on the wrong side of the road, bro. On the wrong side of the road. Hit another car. Killed two people. Didn't serve a day in jail, bro. But I'm supposed to believe and I'm supposed to accept that Javante Davis could be facing seven years in prison, bro. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. What about Rebecca Gayhart? Y'all might be like, damn, knock out who in the hell is Rebecca Gayhart? I got you, bro. She played in the movie Urban Legend. Y'all remember that scary movie coming up, Urban Legend? She played in Nothing to Lose with Martin. And then the movie Jawbreaker, where they had... Put the jawbreaker down the girl's throat, and she ended up suffocating on the jawbreaker. They killed her to try to cover it up. She was in that movie, bro. She killed a nine-year-old boy, bro, with her car. Hit a nine-year-old boy with her car. And her punishment was 750 hours of community service and some probation for killing somebody, bro. For killing somebody. Now, the last one on my list, I say the best for last, bro. I say the best for last because I know the, the, the people that, that really, really can't stand Javante Tank Davis or the people that don't like this type of topic, they'll be like, well, knock out all of those were accidents. Javante Davis committed a crime. That's a crime. He hit and run. Those people, those were just accidents. And yeah, it might have been their fault, but you can't compare that to a crime. All right, cool. All right, cool. I say this one just for y'all that think like that. There's an actor by the name of Lane Garrison. And he ain't a big name. Lane Garrison's most prominent role was being a supporting actor in the show Prison Break, bro. He was in the TV show Prison Break. But Lane Garrison was driving drunk, conv con convicted of vehicular manslaughter, DUI, killing people drunk. He killed a 17-year-old boy he injured two teenage girls driving drunk on the road. Vehicle of manslaughter. Killed their ass, bro. Killed that little boy, man. Boy was 17 years old. Ain't even been to college yet, bro. Ain't even started his life yet. Lane Garrison offed him by driving drunk, being irresponsible, getting out there on the road under the influence, and causing an accident. He did that shit. His punishment, his punishment... The man served one year and five months in prison for that crime. So he can drive drunk, be well over the legal limit. Well over the legal limit, not even close. They said it was like two times, three times over the legal limit. And all of this shit I'm saying can be fact checked. You can go fact check it. You can look it up yourself. So don't come in my comment section because you're going to look like a fool. I done my research, bro. Lane Garrison served one year and five months in prison for murder. For manslaughter, for taking a 17-year-old boy life. He can serve one year and five months. But Javante Davis supposed to serve seven years? Nah, bro, that don't sit well with me. I ain't okay with it and you shouldn't be either. You shouldn't be either. 
So with that being said, bro, I maintain my same stance when this news first got reported. He better not serve a day in jail, bro. He better not serve a day in jail. Make him pay up. Pay the medical fees for all of the people that he injured. Have to pay them some sort of settlement. Set their lives right. You know what I'm saying? Make them do that. Suspend his license. Yes. Yes. Put him on probation. Yes. Yes. Community service. Cool. Cool. Community service. Do that. But the man better not go to prison for a single solitary day, bro. For a single solitary day. He better... He... Bro... He he should not go to jail at all. You can't convince me without and it's so much more, bro. It's so many more people. It's so many more people that have caused crimes that have like take taken lives, bro. That have taken lives and never went to jail. I remember here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. If y'all from Dallas, y'all can look him up. The kid, his name was Dylan Roof or Dylan Roof or some shit, bro. He drove his truck up a curb. And killed multiple people, bro. Multiple people. He ain't serve a day, bro. He ain't do no time, fam. Matter of fact, hold on. I don't even want y'all to think I'm lying to y'all, bro. Hold on a second. I'm going to let y'all go. I know y'all got stuff to do. I know y'all got stuff to do. No, no, that ain't his name. Hold on, hold on. Dylan Roof, that's the, that's the shooter, bro. That's the damn shooter from the, the church shooting. Hold on. I got him confused, man, kid. Hold on. Man, I can't remember it, bro, but it's it's just, man, man, it was a big case too, bro. Um, oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Ethan Couch. That's his name. I knew I wasn't stupid, bro. I knew I would remember. So, Ethan Couch, bro, killed four people. He killed four people here in the Dallas, Texas area. He killed people, four people, bro, driving under the influence. He was 16 years old. He killed four people and injured like 13 people. Drove his truck up a damn um, up a damn sidewalk, bro, and just ran people over, smoothed over. He got off, bro. He got off because it was called the affluenza. The affluenza affluent defense, bro. He had a party, he left, hit the people, killed them. They took him to trial, and they said because of his upbringing, because he was brought up so well off, that he didn't understand the consequences of his actions. I'm dead serious, bro. I'm dead serious. I ain't making this up, bro. I ain't making this up. He was a product of influenza, bro. He was a product of affluenza. He was bought up so rich that he didn't understand what he was doing. And that man got off. <laughs> he got off for killing four people. His name is Ethan Couch. That's Ethan, E-T-H-A-N, last name Couch, C-O-U-C-H. Killed four people, injured 13 others with his vehicle, driving drunk, didn't serve a day in jail, bro. Javante Tank Davis should never see the inside of a cell for this incident, for this hit and run. That's my stance. I'm staying there. Y'all tell me where I'm right. Tell me where I'm wrong. I appreciate for the end of the video. I did that on the fly. I couldn't think of the dude's name. But there you have it, Ethan Couch. That's E-T-H-A-N-C-O-U-C-H. Look it up. It's all over the internet. Still to this day, happened right here in Dallas, Texas back in 2013. Couldn't remember his name off the top of my head, but that's another example, bro. So I'm not trying to hear none of this shit for Tank Davis.
I'm not trying to hear none of this shit for Tank David. He should use the affluenza defense. He should be like, man, look, I'm shit. I'm pampered by Mayweather promotions and shit. I'm rich. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know what I was doing, man. I'm so well off. You know, I just didn't know. And then he should get off, bro. I'm saying that in jest, obviously, bro. But this is just this is a ridiculous system here, man. It's ridiculous, bro. He shouldn't be facing seven years in prison when you got people running around here killing people. Driving drunk, two cases out of shows you, Lane Garrison and this dude, Ethan Couch. And they ain't they don't do shit, bro. They walking around free right now. So I'm not trying to hear that shit. Javante Davis' life and his career should presume. Punishment should be, as I said, have to pay their medical fees. Pay the people that you heard of settlement or whatever. Do your community service. Get your license suspended. Go on probation. Be done with it. That's my thoughts. Y'all let me know y'all's, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications. Follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. And don't forget to, um, you know, subscribe to the channel, obviously, bro. Subscribe to the channel and reach out to me on my email if you want to get in touch. Knockoutboxing86yahoo.com. I appreciate y'all watching the video. Enjoy y'all day. And with that, we out of here. Peace, y'all.